Marguerite. She's still alive, too. Oh, Magdalene. God bless you. You don't normally come to the convent alone. What brings you here? Not that you're welcome, of course. It's always wonderful to have visitors. I had some spare time, and I thought we'd say hello. Oh, well, hello. It's good to hear your voice, though. I enjoy it when outsiders come visit the convent. You miss the outside world much? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Just the other Benedictine sisters, especially. She never admitted, but Sister Elizabeth had always wonderful voice. Always stood next to her if I could. Why stay then? Why didn't you leave when the Benedictines left Curacao? Truth be told, I was too frightened to leave. Curacao is my home. I didn't like the idea of becoming accustomed to a new place. Learning the convent's ins and outs was hard enough. I never went outside the convent much anyway. I know where everything is here, even if it's changed over the years. Sister Gertrude has always planned to stay too. The garden always needed tending, and two hands make light work. Besides, I can't leave... Uh, I'm sorry, the cat. Uh, Kierfrey is a wonderful place to call home. Has the convent changed much since the poor Claire's arrived? Yes, the food is simpler and some of the prayers are different, but all the chores and gardening is the same. Gertrude misses making ink for the scriptorium, but have I enjoyed learning the sisters' new customs. Speaking of which, I should probably return to my chores. Of course, sister, apologies for interrupting. Not at all. God bless you. This is the kitchen. I'm interested in here. But everyone pitches in when needed. Okay. Bless you, Magdalene. How's it goes the cooking? Well, as the Lord wills it. Well, fingers fumble from time to time. It is my privilege to prepare supper for other sisters. Very noble of you. Just as I gave Paul a thorn in his side, so too did he give me the pains of age to strengthen my faith. Such things are a blessing compared to the pains Christ carried upon the cross. Didn't Christ die so we don't have to suffer Necessary. In the next life, yes. But even Christ said we would face the hardships while we live on this earth. I have chosen to find meaning and devotion uh, to the Lord through my hardship. Thank you for sharing your perspective. You're most welcome, child. Are you delivering something? No, I'm learning more about the uh, convent history, and I can finish the mural in town. Oh, I see. This kitchen has been used for decades, longer than I've been alive, for sure. I enjoy preparing meals for the sisters that nourish us, but I can never bring myself to butcher the animals. Mr. Yasbao has graciously taken on that task for me. I need sustenance, but I feel butchering any animals is wrong, according to the rule of St. Francis cause such suffering to any living creature is unnecessary and evil, even if God granted Adam and Eve dominion over the animals. The kitchen seems fairly simple. Is there anything here in the founding days? No more than the structure itself. Look where it needs to be replaced in over the years. Well, some nights a ghost appears to me by the cook fire, a lost spirit trapped between heaven and hell. Sister Marie, not this again. Not Magdalene, please. Could have been the ghost of one of the sisters who found in Covenant. St. Tassia? If it was, she has never said a word to me. Who well, I feel prostrate in prayer before her. Spirit, whoever it is, rose up through the ground at vigils. Dawn and dusk are the hours when the boundaries between this world and the spiritual world are the weakest. We may be the newest arrivals here. This convent is very old. Perhaps there was something Roman underneath this foundation centuries before. 
The spirits may seek to know the presence of God now that the rest of the ground. Stuart might be an additional mural. Wow, spirit in Curacao, why would it come to a common? Breaks my heart to think the spirit was crying out for help, trapped beyond heaven's reach. Why don't we keep going? It's better not to get Sister Marie too upset. Of course. God bless you, sister. God bless you, child. You said you're gonna get to work, Marguerite. You lied. This is the chapel where we all gather for mass and liturgy. It's the oldest part of the convent. And the most drafty. Hello again. Sisters have done some minor retouches over the years, but has represented the abbey from its earliest days. Oh, and there's tower in the library and the cloister is being constructed here. Yes. The tower was... Bird? Bergfried, long before the structure became a monastery. That she gifted to the Benedictine order after the Holy Roman Empire it had no use for it. These walls have protected Tassin from attacks of spirits and steel for generations. Noble history compared to Aeneas. I don't know about that, Magdalene. Certainly it was an endeavor to construct this place. Some Latin here, too, but I can't read it very well. Called Lady Sabine to lead our sisters and brothers in 61. Lord Curasoth Castle uh, was was destroyed by fire in the year of death of Emperor Frederick J.J. II, maybe? Second, second. J.J. just seems a little weird. Only the tower remained. Thank you, Sister Suzanne. Yes. First, list the Abbey founding date. Lady Curacao was actually one to suggest the old castle be turned into a double monastery. He added the second shortly after the revolt. Mother Illuminata thought it would be fitting, even if the sisters were not here, some records that occurred would remain. Curacao is unique. Double monastery with two saints, one male, one female, to guard the town and abbey. So the foundation of the abbey older than the Holy Roman Empire? Many things have been built and torn down on this land over generations. Who knows what else used to be here? You're right, sister. This mirror will be great reference for us. And I'm glad to have helped. God bless you, Magdalene. Alright, I do like that. Near the aquarium, most of the Abbey visitors come here, but aren't allowed. We're not allowed to go into the outside world either. Like Mother Francesca said, isolation is part of our vows. Sister Gertrude once told me the old Benedictine sisters used to go out into the town sometimes and even talk to men on occasion. Gosh. I'm stuck here staring at the walls for the rest of my life. You didn't always want to be a poor player? No, who would want to be a nun? Father promised me to the church as a baby. Some oath he swore when my mother was struggled with pregnancy. So there I was, dropped on the poor Claire's the summer I turned 17. And they took you in just like that. Nobody asked what you wanted. Why should they? The poor Clares rely on the offering of others, even children, to subsist. My family is devoted to the church. I've only been in the covenant for two years. I try my best. I don't mind the prayers or the hours, and I'm sure my my devoted to the, uh, devotion to the Lord. But this isn't what I wanted. But since when did a woman get what she wants? I wanted without being punished. 
Eve couldn't even manage it. We only do the best we can. Pray that one day it'll be different. Maybe, but certainly won't ever live to see it. Sometimes I get jealous of Sister Gertrude and even Sister Marguerite. At least they get to see something of the outside world before they were 20. Why don't you leave? Do what? My family wouldn't support me. I have no husband. I have uh, no way to own land or make coin. What can I do but pray? Where better do that than the cloister? Thanks for listening, Magdalene. Anyway, let me show you the rest of the cloister. You don't. Well, you've seen the entire combo. It's not much here. What do you think of it? I understand the appeal of such a small life. It offers its own freedom for the world, even if I'm not drawn to it. That's true. We aren't buying by the worries and thoughts of the world. It's been so long I've spoken to anyone from outside the convent. I'm reminded of the life I once had. Now you had me thinking about whether or not I should remain with the sisters. Like you said, you have nobody. I think you should stay. She didn't like that. Of course I failed. Like six to Marie cooking? I don't think anymore. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I fail every time. Every time. My family's devotion doesn't have to be mine. I don't know if there's truly a place for me here. Anyway, we should return to Mother Francesca before she suspects something. Thank you for showing me around. No, thank you. Today has been more interesting than any I can remember in the Abbey. Come, let's find Mother Francesca. She'll be wanting to hear your thoughts of the place. Well, what is your assessment of the poor Clares? Is the good Lord calling you life as a sister? Well, I haven't thought about my holy duty of providing children to a husband. Can't give up on that so soon. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, I haven't thought about the holy duty of providing children to a husband. And I just can't give up on it soon. That is a divine blessing, Magnum. Be careful with your sarcasm. <laughs> uh, truth be told, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it's a good match for me. The town council, is he not? Or perhaps you two would be well together. God only knows. Our community is quite modest compared to the splendor of the old Benedictine house operating under the rule of a powerful abbot. I see why fewer women are drawn to the order these days. I'm praying that you'll find your way. Uh, yeah, find your way, Magdalene. God bless you. Sweet. That's a lot of reading. Hi, Magdalene. How'd your little expedition go? I learned a lot from seeing the Abbey. I have a good idea of what I wanted to pick from the mural now. But sister, there's something I don't understand. The Abbey was so prosperous. Why did the monks rebuild it after the fire? Why didn't they? What a task that would be. The chapel was beautiful. Stained glass always caught my eye in the mornings. There was a great deal of Anger and sadness in tassing that memory. You ever felt the uh, brothers and sisters were no longer well in tassing and moved on? Truth to Abbey. His illusion was inevitable. Kurosawa was running out of money and patrons. The riot and fires were simply particularly awful and painful way to end the monastery. Did anything survive the fire? 
Some of the buildings are intact, but all are terribly overgrown. I haven't dared forge into the rubble. I doubt you find anything of help for your mural inside, other than the charred wood and parchment. Still might be uh, worth taking a look. I worry after you sometimes. I really do. Thank you for all your help. You're most welcome. God bless you. All right. Port. Oh, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Well, that was, I don't know. I did learn more about the founding here, so. But the illustration from the manuscript of the museum looked like one in the mine. Part of the history of the Abbey or Tassine must be written down somewhere. If only the library hadn't burned down everything on it. The ruins are right here. Maybe everything was destroyed. Not everything was destroyed. It's amazing. I wonder what it must have looked like before the fire. Everything collapsed in the fire. Have to be careful climbing over this to get past. Crypt might be a good way to go. Eee. Oh. I wonder if I was going to fall. I can't get back there. If I climb it, I might collapse further. I'll have to find another way out. Maybe go to the tower? I think that would be yeah, what I was going to say. Vines. Nothing left of the old staircase? I guess I can't go this way. Mines go all the way to the top, though. They look sturdy enough to hold my weight. There's another way out. Uh, yikes. There's nothing to do up here. I see all tassing from here. I wonder if I can piece together the foundations of the abbey and find a way into the library. But I can get down this way. The roof looks pretty stable. Okay. Doesn't look very sturdy at all. Scriptorium. God. I remember when the library burned down. That told me it was just a baby, but I remember the flames coming out of the windows. So many people were screaming and running around, I cried myself to sleep that night. I haven't seen this place since then. It doesn't look like anything left inside. I suppose it was too much to hope. Maglin, how are you going to get out of here? Roses seem to have made the Abbey their home, but something beautiful is still here. Too. 
boxes. Nothing here. This is a mess. How sad. That's a chapter house. Door stuck. Can't. Yeah, someone destroyed that. It's warm, but I can still see some of the figures. A dance of death. It. What are these figures? You. Paint can't be more than a few years old. It's been adding this. It feels wrong. Who would add figures to the dance of death? Why? These people look like people from the town. Died. Must be the Baron. That's Otto. Wait, is that? Uh oh, it's here. It's here. <clears throat> Hello. Who are you? What if it's Carl? Whoever's watching me have opened it. I don't like this. I think I've seen everything uh, left at the Abbey. Yeah, let's get out of here. Snowing already. Almanac said it should start at least for another week at least. I think we're in for a hard winter. So where do we gotta go next? Okay, back to the mural. Maybe we should go back to the mural. Maglin. Come to my well chiseled craftsman at his best. Oh, where? I can't see one. I suppose I stepped into that one. If you come to see the repairs I've been doing, then tell the truth, it's not going as well as I hoped. Seems to be the issue. I assumed I hit a snag either when it came to the stone or the tools or my lack of artistic skill. But it's more than that. It's like my head. I can't see the right way. Besides, my dad wants me to help out on the farm more. I want to be here, but Papa taught me that everything about the craft really wanted me to succeed, and I do enjoy the work. It's as if I can talk to the stone, you know. Not literally. But I can see how lines of tension flow through the rock. I understand how the form of one thing from the other how to create, make something that lasts. Grandma even offered to help sponsor an apprenticeship under the Master Stonemason. Dad will support me either way, but I still feel like I'm pulling both directions at once, you know? You can support your family and it makes you happy, it's the right choice. Important to follow the guidance and needs of the workers. Yeah, 
can't buy live by the rules and demands of others. Oh, what the pick for him? Um, if you can support your family, it makes you happy. When you're saying it sounds almost a reasonable way, doesn't it? But I still can't get away from the doubts. No one can fully escape their doubts. Don't let that stop you. God, I wish I had your confidence and fortitude. Did you learn about that from Klaus? Right, this is hard. I don't know what to do. I think you should take the apprenticeship. It's better than staying in Tassin, right? How does one pass any of these? I don't think I have... I don't remember the last time I got something I, uh, I succeeded at. I don't know. I like it here. I have uh, enough experience from Grandpa to keep going. Besides, if I'm gone, there'll be no one to look after the town stone. Church... Church's foundation's in serious condition. Uh, who's to say it won't be another flood come spring? No, I think I should stay here. I have to tell Grandma I made up my mind soon. Thanks for listening to me, Magdalene. That's what a friends are for. While work beckons, Father Thomas asked me to reinforce the walls of the church. To be honest, I'd like to reuse stones from the ruins of the abbey, but Father Thomas forbids it. It's unseemly. Just quality stones going to waste. I don't get it. Ah, it's burned. The burnt ruins of the abbey is still a religious site. As a church, or as is a church, it won't be like stones from one holy building to another. All right. Stay well. Till later. Well then. It's Carl always hanging out here. I don't trust Carl. Uh, I guess I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, oh yeah, we need people to read that. Um, oh yeah, we need to find uh, find him too, right? For his dad. Uh, what do you want? Hello, Dr. Stoltz. I have a book here and I can't read it very well. I wonder if you could help me translate it. No. But I... No, Maglin, I can't be bothered by your lack of illiteracy. Not illiterate. I said no! Leave! Brendan's? Who is that guy? We can do lessons soon. Alright, we'll see if he can read it. Magdalene. Yes. Cinnamon I added to the beer is perfect. Uh, I come from Cylon? Ah, yes, at great cost. Never mind that. Copper pots, you help me pipe. Part of the process. Oh, I thought it was something. Uh, oh, wait, this, huh? It's for the Christmas celebration. I suppose you don't have much time left. All right. Will the time stops for no man? It's going to be wonderful. Cinnamon coffee from Ethiopia. Cow from New World. Who has the money? Who has the money that can do everything? Problem. Of course not. Just your money. It's just your money. Anyway, I'm quite excited about it. Clearly. Such alchemy is not normally my strong suit. And for all of Nazu's complaints about the cost, based rye 
we're using is free. Really? Yes. Farmers had so much rye this year, they couldn't lose it all. Brett made as much bread with it as she could, but she wound up having to throw a lot out. So why not make beer? Yeah, why not? Thank you. I was actually hoping you might be able to translate something for me. Latin? Yes. I came across a book about history of Tassie, and I was hoping you could help me read it. Oh, no, not today. I'm far too busy for that moment. As and I have hands full preparing for Christmas ale, you see. Of course, sorry to bother you. Well, not at all. Apologies, I couldn't be more help. So, I guess we've got Father Thomas, right? I think he's the only one they mentioned that could read it. 